What's going on guys? Just gonna make a real quick video here. Um, just an example of checking a capacitor under load versus just checking it with the power off. So I have this thing already hooked up. Uh, the system's been running for probably about 20 minutes. It's a whole 2002 Goodman unit. But uh, as you can hopefully see there, I've got my alligator clips hooked on firm and on the common terminal on the run capacitor. And we are hooked up at, in reading bolts right there. And this yellow wire that you see that our amp clamp is on is our start winding going to our run capacitor using our field piece SE620. And hopefully you can see down there four points, it's bouncing around 4.5, 4.56, somewhere in there. And we'll say about 370 for our voltage. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna enter 4.5 times 2654 equals and then you're going to take that figure you have there and you are going to divide by that voltage three we'll just say three we'll say 372 because it's bouncing between 370 and 374 so we'll say 372 three seven two equals 32.1 and hopefully you can see this capacitor is a 35.5 and it has a tolerance of plus or minus 0.5 so that capacitor under load is weak but that's just a uh, just a quick explanation a little demonstration of checking capacitor under load that anybody that had just wanted to add this other clip in real quick now I have the unit off and I am checking the capacitor not under a load I'm just comparing the numbers now again they're not supposed to read the same you can see that 30.7 UF again this is a 35 slash 5 so it's uh, it's definitely weak it's outside of its plus or minus 5% tolerance but that just gives you an idea that Capacitor is going to read something different when it's not under a load versus when it's operating in the circuit under a load. So, just two different ways of checking it. Uh, personally, I like checking it under a load. Um, one, because you're actually checking it when it's doing work, which is the most effective time to check a part. Um, not only that, but when you have to take the time to shut the unit down, pull the wires off, check the capacitor, then plug the wires back in. You got an old Goodman like this that might take. 20 minutes or better um, fixed metering device to balance the pressures out it just uh, it just adds time to a maintenance for instance like what I'm on right now just adds added time to it when you can just come out here hook up your gauges and check the capacitor under load and really unless you find an issue you really don't have to don't have to turn the power off to the condenser at all so just another way of doing things um, not that it's the only way just to, just another variation so, hope that helps again. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.